hate to break the bad news to you, but there is a very concerning storm that is going to be coming to the United States next week. And this particular storm is going to bring a ton of different problems, including the risk of some significant severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center even mentioned that there is a chance for widespread severe weather. That includes areas from the Southern Plains back into the Midwest and the Central Plains. In addition to this, we are going to be watching for the potential for a winter storm across the Northeast as we go closer to the middle of next week but in this weather forecast we're going to be talking a lot about that significant severe weather threat from monday and tuesday across the great plains the midwest and the ohio valley and even areas in the southeast but i do want to first begin with what's happening right now across the united states today that'll lead to that large storm that'll bring significant severe weather next week and right now it's actually pretty active across the great plains we have a lot of cloud cover stretching from the northern plains back in areas like texas overall not a whole lot of rain is coming with this it's very minimal minimal activity overall. We do have a small disturbance that is migrating itself across the central plains into the Midwest. That'll actually bring some showers and thunderstorms tonight in areas like the lower Midwest. Be mindful if you're anywhere in central and southern Illinois, back into Indiana and even western Ohio, there will be some thunderstorms out there. There is a low risk for large hail tonight in western Illinois and southeast Iowa. We won't talk much about that, but just be mindful of that this evening across those areas. And then back over on the west coast, that is where things are very interesting right now we have a very defined low pressure system just offshore from california and this is a much better view of that low pressure system that is just to the west of san francisco california very defined low pressure system very intense we have a bit of a dry slot here on the back side lots of showers right offshore but obviously no severe weather there in california but this is going to be our next large storm this is the one that's going to bring some significant severe weather to areas like the great plains the midwest the ohio valley basically if you're anywhere east of the Rocky Mountains, you probably at least have some sort of risk of severe weather unless you're in like the Northern Plains where it's going to be a bit colder up that direction. But with that being said, this low pressure system will cross over the Rocky Mountains and eventually bring the risk of severe weather as we head into both Monday and Tuesday of next week. Now let's talk more about that severe weather potential across the United States as we go into early next week. And we're actually going to begin with Sunday, which is not going to really be a big day when it comes to severe weather, but there is a risk of severe weather across areas like the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a marginal risk for severe weather from Northeast Kansas back into Western West Virginia. There is a chance that we go live on Sunday, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel down below and click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live. This is a one out of five though on the severe weather scale. So overall, not a super high risk by any means. This is really the lowest risk that we can get without there being a severe weather risk. But overall, the main concern will be damaging winds and large hail. There might be an isolated tornado or two, but I do think that risk remains low, but the risk of tornadoes will likely increase quite a bit as we go into Monday, as the Storm Prediction Center has a large slight risk of severe weather that spans all the way from Ohio back into Texas. This is a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, and you might be thinking, what is that orange area there? Well, that's an enhanced risk of severe weather. This is a 3 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, and I'm honestly not ruling out that we get a moderate risk of severe weather if everything continues to go as forecasted because we're going to have a very volatile setup here across this entire area that we're talking about on Monday. In addition to that, there's going to be some very strong shear. We're going to have a strong low-level jet. It's going to be a very organized setup overall that's likely going to produce at least some significant and numerous severe weather events anywhere from the Ohio Valley and the lower Midwest back into the Southern Plains. But the Storm Prediction Center did mention that on Monday, there is a chance for a widespread severe weather event, meaning that we could even go to a moderate risk of severe severe weather in a few isolated locations that likely would be across it's somewhere in that enhanced risk so it would probably be somewhere there near Missouri back in the northeast Oklahoma with all this being said though obviously make sure you're monitoring the weather very closely things could still change a little bit so this is not set in stone since we're still three to four days out but definitely have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan in place just in case we'll be going through the timing and all those sort of things here in just a moment once we go into Tuesday which is tossing trampolines on tacos Tuesday that threat of severe weather will shift further to the east and this is the day five outlook by the way so we're looking further into next week on tuesday where there is a slight risk of severe weather from the dixie alley including northern alabama northwest georgia and northeast uh, mississippi all the way back in areas like maryland and even western delaware and yes this is for the beginning of april crazy stuff here and by the way this is not an april fool's joke i know we're coming up on that holiday but it's not that at this point in terms of the severe weather event this is a two out of five on the severe weather scale and the main concern for both 
Monday and Tuesday will be damaging winds. That's really the main primary concern for both days. Large hail and also a few tornadoes will be possible on both days. I would not rule out an isolated strong tornado on either day with this particular setup. So obviously make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts. But I do want to remind you there is no reason to panic. Just make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts. Have a tornado action plan in place just in case. I will leave a link, by the way, to a weather radio in the description below if you want to pick one up just in case. It's a good way to have other ways to receive alerts other than just your phone. Weather radio comes in handy, especially during events like this. All right, let's talk more about that timing with this particular event. We're going to begin with Saturday. That is when that farts trough will move through areas in the Midwest. This will actually bring a little bit of snow to northern Wisconsin and even northern parts of Michigan throughout the morning and afternoon on Saturday. Most of this, though, will be rain with an isolated thunderstorm or two across areas like northern Illinois, northern Indiana. Plenty of rumbles of thunder overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Overall, severe weather will be a very low threat for tonight. And then once we head into Sunday, that is when things get very interesting as that low pressure system moves over the Rocky Mountains. We'll eventually see that really start to strengthen and develop as we go into late Sunday night into Monday morning. And though severe weather is not currently expected in the central or southern plains, it would be a very conditional risk if we ended up seeing any storms here. Very, very low chance. I'm saying like a 5 to 10% chance that a storm or two fire up here. As of now, the Storm Prediction Center has not put any sort of risk level in this area, and I don't think they will unless something major changes there with the timing of this trough. Uh, but overall, very conditional risk of severe weather if we end up getting some sort of storm activity there in late Sunday night. Main area to watch for, though, for Sunday night will be across the Ohio Valley and as well as the lower Midwest, where there will be plenty of storms out there producing the threat of large hail. Damaging winds is possible, maybe a brief tornado, but I think the tornado threat is really low. By Monday afternoon, that is when this low pressure system really begins to organize. We get a very strong southerly wind. Eventually, we'll be watching for the threat of some significant severe weather anywhere from Texas back into Illinois by the time we go into Monday afternoon. And by around 6 o'clock in the evening, we're going to have a huge area of storms stretching from Missouri back into Texas. Now, as of now, this will likely be more of a linear line of storms, meaning that the main concern would be damaging winds, but any discrete supercells will produce an elevated threat for large hail and even a few tornadoes. By the time we go into Tuesday morning, those storms move to the east and we'll be watching on Tuesday for a new area of storms to develop across areas like Louisiana, back into Ohio. The main concern will be across areas in Kentucky and Tennessee and southern Ohio. Main concern for Tuesday will be damaging winds and large hail, but a few tornadoes cannot be ruled out. And eventually by Wednesday, there will be another chance for severe weather across the southeast and the east coast. I do think overall, though, that severe weather threat will be much lower comparatively to Monday and Tuesday. And eventually, as we go into late Wednesday, this winter storm potential will ramp up from Michigan back into New England. We'll have a more detailed breakdown on that in our next forecast. But in terms of this severe weather setup, notice the instability across the central and southern plains. That is essentially showing how much fuel we have for severe weather. And we have plenty of it with instability values as high as 2,000 joules per kilogram for Monday afternoon. And even by Tuesday, we will have plenty of instability across the Ohio Valley and the Dixie Alley for there to be severe weather. The low-level jet for Monday as well will be cranking upwards of 50 to 60 knots in some spots. That'll also increase the rotation in the lower levels, leading to that threat of tornadoes. So just kind of give you an idea of the severe weather setup here. In addition to this, the jet stream will be cranking with a strong southwesterly flow. The jet stream does help to organize supercells, and this will definitely help to increase that severe weather potential. So overall, the setup actually looks pretty favorable here for some severe weather, and the potential for a widespread severe weather event does exist. But again, I do want to remind you, there's no reason to panic. Just make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts and watch the weather very closely for both Monday and Tuesday, depending on where you are. We are likely going to have multiple videos over the weekend. In addition to that, live streams are likely for Sunday night. That'll be a forecast live stream. Monday and Tuesday will likely have severe weather live streams, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live.